So that is his barbarian. <coughs> Took a while to work out how to start a game. <coughs> How do you uh, roll? Ooh, the old classic uh, decapitation. So I had this on the ST, and I don't like the graphics on the C64. They've been done very badly. So. Uh, Just used to keep doing this all the time, and uh, sometimes you get lucky, but not on the later levels. I'm not doing too well at the moment. Definitely not doing well at all, mate. Is a fiendish opponent. I don't know what mode one, mode two, and all that means. So. But yeah, it's uh, it's basically the same game as all versions of Barbarian. Uh, but it's got nice graphics. The Amstrad graphics for the Amstrad's capabilities have been done well. Is mode two two player? No. Right, mode 2 might be joystick pool 2 for one player because I'm not actually doing anything here. <clears throat> so maybe mode 3 is a two player mode, I really need to practice the moves. So like I said, I had a Barbarian on the ST. Uh, so that was around just before possibly I got an Amiga. It's only uh, three modes, so yeah, that's what it is then. Okay. Ooh, I forgot about that move. That's a classic move, though. Classic, classic move. Because uh, it's a two-player game, you're not going to see any more of the other opponents, really, are you? It's very nice, the uh, decapitation move, you know, it's uh, very nice. So uh, yeah, a bit of a weird one, only about half the tape load and it actually just started running. There's actually at least another 50% of that fucking tape on the tape in this year. Okay, I don't know how many times this is going to happen. That was the best thing about this game, to be honest, though. It's a bit difficult to play Amstrad games, so I've got this Sony Trinitron in front of the uh, nest table that the CPC and the monitor is on. Okay, I don't know how you uh, get out of it. Very quickly. I never heard the full music.
they're ready to die. There must be a way of getting out of this mode. Okay, well, you get the idea. Well, that was a shit idea. Not this, doing the hoovering while this was loading. Oh, I'm bloody knackered now, mate. Uh, what the fuck does keyboard turbo mean? Uh, one player. Where's the music from? Isn't there any music on this? So I can't remember if my mate had this on his own stuff. Ooh. Ooh, I'm missing that one here. CRT glasses, I need them. I need you, buddy. Oh no! No, no, do they all get reset? No, they don't. So, my mate used to love playing a uh, bomb draft in the arcade. And so, he obviously got this for his Amstrad. The reason I didn't get the C64 version myself is simply because I didn't actually play the arcade game. Oh no! System. There you go. four screens don't complain about my channel mm -hmm. difficult to see uh, that enemy there no, I just missed by the skin of my teeth and that's very close because I, I brush my teeth five times a day sir there we go Ooh, bloody hell I think the graphics have corrupted. That was an easy level. This game seems very easy actually. quite easy. It, it's nice, but it does seem a little bit easy actually, if I'm honest. He says, as losing another life, how many lives have I got left? I 
think this level is the most difficult to see what's going on. So, yeah, you see, that's really the problem. Now, if I had my CRT glasses, or my teenage eyeballs, might be different. Anyway, that was that. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed that one too, mate. Well, I guess that's going to be the size of the screen, is it? Yes. I'll make your best of the small screen, in it, mate? Anyway. I presume uh, that Spanish uh, phrase there means uh, new championship and uh, controls is controls. <coughs> so two joysticks, there we go, there we go, good, good. I don't know what they mean. Menu principal means main menu, obviously. Slip doodle, slip doodle. I don't know what they mean. I'll go with standard things. Alright, there we go. So it's forward to accelerate. So I guess it's left and right to rotate clockwise and anti clockwise. So this is on the spectrum, and uh, this isn't a spectrum culture. Oh, okay. I don't think it's supposed to be uh, allowed to go there. Okay, you can go over the small shrubs. That's good. Oh, there's a little birdie there. Come on, mate. Have I damaged the car now? So I think the fire button is actually great. <laughs> if the frame rate was a bit better, it'd be brilliant. It's still okay. Oh, it's got slidey handling. It is like that 1000 mid gear arcade game. Is that a jump or something? I don't know. I wonder what supercars is like on the old uh, Amstrad. If it even came out. It's on the C64. And here's a Gremlin game. Oh no, sir! So yeah, Carlos signs Rally Ding Dong whatever. I, I don't speak full Spanish there. It's pretty good. It is faster on the Spectrum. So uh, you know, if you don't mind the Spectrum graphics, then uh, go with that. But hey, uh, if you want the better graphics, you have to go for this version. And uh, just so you know. The MSX version is about this speed, but it has a Spectrum graphic, so... You know what, if you had an MSX in the UK, you're a bit fucked unless you're buying uh, Japanese games. Because 99% of them were shitty Spectrum port jobs. I actually thought the MSX was a shit computer until the 90s, when I saw like some Japanese games. And I was like, oh, so it's like the ColecoVision. Oh, right. <laughs> Amazing, huh? But yeah, if uh, an MSX game looks nothing like a ColecoVision game, ee, then uh, you know you wasted your money, mate. That's the end of that one. Like I said, uh, famously, Ocean's uh, Donkey Kong for uh, uh, the MSX uh, looks suspiciously like the Spectrum version, so and it should look exactly like and sound exactly like. Yeah, I don't know what I don't know what that means, mate. Is that like a? Oh right, it's a setup. So I think these are correct. Slip tires.
So yeah, bearing in mind I don't speak Spanish. Uh, I think I'm doing okay with this game. I quite like it actually. I wish the frame rate was a bit better. I wish someone would go and uh, you know edit the code and make it like run twice as fast. I reckon that's possible with what we know today. I'm not asking for a larger screen or anything. And uh, then it'd be okay. Oh, they're train tracks, I think. Hey, what happened here? Did I get a puncture or something? So it's got slidey handy and everything. Yeah. So it's like the arcade game, uh, Mila Miglia, 1000 legs, blah, blah, blah. Uh, running at about three or four frames per second, depending on what's happening on screen. So I don't know if we uh, damaged the car too much last time. So yeah, like I said, uh, you can make a choice with the uh, Spectrum version, which does run, you know, noticeably faster, but you don't get graphics like these, obviously. Or this version, which runs slower. So it's still a good game on either. 88% something something. I think that means we're fucked. So yeah, I don't know if I was out of time or if I fucked up the car a bit too much. Oh, it's gone down to 86% now, is it? Then, okay, we might actually finish a road. A stage, I should say. Now famously, Mad Commodore is brilliant at driving games, but not this one. I wonder if any of the uh, Amstrad fanatics will ever watch any of these videos. I don't think they will actually. So I couldn't tell you if I'm going around the same track over and over. Uh, apart from the fact that we haven't gone over the train tracks again yet. So maybe not. That was a bit of a wish taker. Oh, I see uh, they've rebooted that TV series, The Driver. And, uh, of course, to cover all their bases, well, at least two-thirds of them, because I don't know if the woman is uh, meant to be bisexual or lesbian, isn't it? It's a black woman now, and the cars are shit anyway. But uh, this is not shit. That's using a full screen. It's using mode one as well. Let's see how we get all this. Is it going to be up to the uh, Commodore International Tennis standards? Which apparently the uh, was sold to the royal family. Anyway, let's play Arnold J for joysticks. Uh, your name M. So I don't even get to surf first. Okay, it's not exactly Mario Tennis. Or International Tennis by Commodore. But, it may be playable. I've got no idea how I'm angling the ball to like different places. But, uh... Oh, the computer does. Oh! Didn't do too well there. Oh, computer not very good. Computer says no. I don't want to serve properly. That's what he's saying no to. Just in case you're thinking I've gone crazy. Ah, bloody hell. Net second service. Okay. 
so he gets three attempts. I can't remember the rules for ten. Buddy, now is not a good time for me really. Oh, I can't do the thing at the line. Ah, oh, bollocks. I'm not doing very well at ten. It is what it is, really. Ah, oh, no. I really need to uh, line up the ball with the uh, sneakers. Again with the sneakers. Net. Oh, well, it, it's saying net, but it doesn't affect the uh, movement of the ball. That's a bit weird. But anyway, this is the kind of thing I'd expect on a cover tape, if I'm honest. I wouldn't be happy with this if I just spent, you know, the same price as a C64 uh, for an Amstrad with a modulator. It's roughly the same price, give or take 25 quid. Ooh. No! So they swap sides, and it, well, they don't actually swap sides, they're going to a wormhole in the centre of the bloody uh, screen. Oh, okay. Service is going to be a bit iffy, is it? Alright then. Oh, I actually got one over the net. But they not now. Okay, we're not doing too well here. We... Okay. Ooh. I mean, I got a point. Couldn't tell you how. Oh, that's out. Yeah, it's not brilliant. I think that's going to hit the net now. Oh, net second service. bit tricky doing the serves actually but that's uh, kind of normal for a tennis game he's a bit bully time I must admit oh no if I didn't have my CRT glasses on I'd be fucked Oh, it actually hit the net properly. Good, good. I haven't played tennis for ages, actually. Oh, just ah, oh, crap. Come on in. Wow! Got a real chance for a, a point here. Might help if I serve properly, but. Uh, oh, that's not going to go over there. Ah, bloody hell. Alright, not doing well. Not doing well at all. How come they didn't swap sides now? That don't make any sense. Now. That's going to be in the net, isn't it? Ooh, bloody hell. Ooh. You think it's going to hit the net and then, oh, he leaves it. So he's intelligent enough. To know when it's not going to be in, so there's that. But yeah, I won't be happy with this. There must be a better tennis game than this. 
must be sure. Over there for you, sir. And, uh... Ooh, that was pure luck because I missed that. <laughs> Although that was a uh, touch and go, that one. Again with the first service. Thought you just hit the net just then. The old tricks still work. Yeah, this is called sort of uh, TI 99 Vic 20 gaming, if I'm honest. It's not really what you expect for 1984. Just finish this game and uh, be, oh bloody hell, and that'll be it. Uh, hey, that's a bit of a cheeky one. Ah, that was uh, whatever that was. This music always makes me laugh because me and my friend bought Commando from the shops on a Saturday, like lunchtime, and uh, I live closer to the, uh, the shopping centre, so we came home and we tried the C64 version first with the great music and uh, you know, and then uh, after about half an hour or an hour or whatever. I walked down to his house and we uh, tried out the abstract version and as soon as the music started playing and uh, I just couldn't stop laughing <laughs> and uh, he just gave me his dirty look like he was chewing a wasp but <laughs> so I stopped laughing and have a heart attack <laughs> uh, we press one for joystick And it's not working. Okay, so that's a great spot. I don't know what it is about the Amstrad and having uh, you know, to tell the programmer that you're using a joystick. There's not even a Spectrum port job. So for some reason we've got horrible green colour, but there's loads of orange there. So I don't know what happened there, pukey green. I'm sure it said press one for joystick. Ah, look, the fuck off with that shit music, mate. Uh, oh, J for joystick. Yeah, fucking uh, what an asshole. Good, good. And why can't you just press five? So the guys walk about like they got fucking rickets. It's not actually that slow, actually. So the, the scrolling is okay until you get about four guys on screen and then it starts to slow down after about three. Ooh, yeah, we didn't even save the little guy there. Hey, we totally missed that section. I was holding fire button to fire. Oh, yeah, that is right. So you hold fire like on the C64 version. I don't know how many levels there are in this version. Because obviously I had to play Commando with a knackered uh, quick shot turbo. So with a zip stick, you know, I can complete it in about half an hour probably. Ah, the old classic. Oh no! <laughs> it's not a bad game. But uh, due to uh, nostalgic memories, uh, I'll, oh, come on, man. 
<laughs> Quick, get my heart peeled. <laughs> it's like that bloke in uh, Dumb and Dumber when he's uh, having the burger and they put all the chilies in there for him. I don't know how the uh, bullets are coming through the fucking wall though. I don't know if that happens on the uh, arcade or the C64 version. Ow, oh, man! It might sound better if you uh, pump up the bass and uh, pipe it through my hi-fi here. My lovely hi-fi, which needs a repair. Actually, that is an excuse for me to ring my friend because he does uh, he does repairs. He repairs electronics. So. so yes, not actually bad. Uh, it's less slow down than uh, Ikari Warriors. I think the pukey green. Someone please just fucking hack it and change that for fuck's sake. So we rescued the little guy with uh, piles and rickets. There's a lot of slowdown now. I like the way their guts explode, that's brilliant. Now, oddly, TNT by Air Informatic, which is a commando ripoff, which I had for the ST, uh, isn't on the Amstrad, which is really weird. It's on the MSX2 and uh, on the ST, it's not on the Amiga, it's not on the Amstrad, it's not on the C64, it's a very strange set of options there. Ooh, I just want to do one bloody level. Nah, go away! Maybe the slowdown actually helps you. Oof, we've done it. That's the thing on uh, Amstrad and Spectrum games, because you get random slowdown, and the games can be easier. Although they could be more frustrating. Ah, oh, bloody hell! Put down, motherfucker. Uh, see, there's no, there's no sense that the screen is scrolling at the moment because, well, they're not actually scrolling the entire screen. They're just scrolling the bits on the screen, which is why, depending on how much has to be scrolled. Uh, you do get some slowdown. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. It's, <laughs> it's just the memories that I have of what happened the day we both got Commando. Uh, you know, they're always going to taint my fist. <laughs> it's not a bad game. I'm being unfair, I must admit. I mean, the slowdown is less than Ikari Warriors, so... Well, the graphics are okay apart from the uh, horrible green fucking sound. Yeah, the fuck am I? I was going to say getting away with that, but... Uh... There you go. Commando also is a very easy, unattended loader, so uh, win for you. Yeah, don't worry, I've got loads of fucking tiles to remove in the kitchen and I ain't got no energy when I don't smoke, so I ain't gone back to smoking. Think of this uh, as a necessary evil like my uh, two mugs of Arabic coffee and a roll up. I need both, otherwise, nothing's going to get done. I need the kitchen uh, done and dusted. So, uh, yeah, uh, you notice I'm playing, um, uh, you know, the classic C64 games that I had, so, let's uh, give this a go. I was going to say, did Alan Sugar not pay enough for them to put music in there? But at least there's sound. Okay. I think that might be an armoured car that you can't take out, maybe. So it's going to be easier than the C64 version, because uh, maximum speed scrolling is uh, probably less than half the speed of the Atari and C64 version. Interestingly, the uh, Commodore Plus 4 also has the same hardware scrolling registers as uh, 
has a C64. Now, my favourite version of this game is definitely on the Atari because of the handling of the car. But the handling of the car on this one is not too bad actually. Uh, but it will be easier because of the speed of the scrolling. So uh, we got to watch out for them. The graphics are quite nice actually. They're nothing like any other version. But, uh, so it's definitely been done in isolation. So that is the good thing about Amstrad. Although there's zero technical innovation in the hardware. It's like... Ah, bollocks, I just blew up my own uh, truck. Uh, it, they did, uh, you know, give you the 16 colour screen mode. It's just the way they've done it, it's with uh, zero uh, sort of technical, uh, uh, I don't know, technical wizardry, I suppose. I think we're in the wrong section. I oh, know we're not actually. So I don't really play like the other versions that I've played. Uh, there is a bit of uh, driving on ice, but it's not as bad as the C64 version. So the Atari version is still my favourite version. But, you know, the graphics are not bad. And uh, let's face it, how many of us can still... Uh, Ah, bollocks, that was the one made that time. Mm -hmm. How many of us can still, uh, you know, play the game at full speed at our age now? Yeah, maybe some. Ah, come on. Why, oh, it's not bad. Uh, oh, man. got no idea how many lives I've got. The screen is quite small. So if it was going at the full speed I'd have even more problems to be honest. I just noticed it's telling me to stay on this side so yeah there is a slight woolliness to the uh, handing. It's a shit car. Whatever car they used for. Ah oh, come on man. this again but yeah the old uh, cassette adapter uh, business uh, with you know the CDT files on the laptop yeah, it's working quite well I must admit better than I expected So the tape unit, probably in reasonably good uh, nick, I would say. That kill everyone there. Ooh. There you go. Oh man! I'm not sure if it's uh, the collision is harsher. I don't know if you can go on the grass and you hit the trees on the other versions. I can't remember, it's been ages since I played Spy Hunter. Probably because I haven't got any way to play it on the Atari and I don't really like the C64 version. See what I mean? That's really harsh. But maybe it is like that, I can't remember. Get out of the way mate. Got enough problems. I've got problems in it mate. So maybe they made the collision uh, harder because it don't scroll as fast anyway, maybe, who knows mate, I'm not an expert on this game at all, I just want to get in the boat, I want to see the graphics for the boat, <laughs> oh man come on, god damn it, like playing those stupid games you used to play at the uh, 
the tombola when you were a kid, you know, it's like a, 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 a creased up bit of, all uh, oh, right, just put me right there, mate, why don't you? He's an armoured car. Right, I'm going to just zip past him now, mate. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, man. It just didn't... Uh, There's no win situation there. Yeah. yeah, well, you know, without the music, it's a bit of a cunt as well. They should have attempted the music, because the music is iconic. I'm sure it's on one of the AVGN videos. Well, one season, I should say. So we're going to have to go really slow, like pension of fucking speed, man. Because the handling is so horrible on the car. So the handling is a bit shit on the car, but in a different way to a C64. Right, there we go. Did it put you back as a car? It must do, I guess. Because there's no, like, yacht to uh, drop down. Oh, actually, he's there. What's going on there? Maybe that's someone I have to say, so, well, mm. oh, that took a while. Do we have to go this way to get back? Yeah, we do, actually. So, you've got to see the boat. You've got to see quite a lot of the game, for me. I keep playing up my own thing, because I'm trigger happy. I'm like string for love, but I'm trigger happy, isn't it? He had a bit of a shit life, Jan Michael Vincent, very unlucky guy. No wonder he uh, drank so much. Hey, get away from me. Are you joking, aren't you? I wouldn't get away with that. Get out of the way. Piece of shit. I'm surprised I made it through that. So, uh, yeah, it's alright. It's not bad. I've done it again. <laughs> Maybe I just like blowing up my own guys. I must be American. Well, it is an American game. Friendly fire, motherfucker. Yeah, just because I'm doing Amstrad reviews, that mean I'm not going to swear on my channel, obviously. Obviously. I picked the right road now. Oh, we get to see different graphics now and the helicopter. So the speed up is consistent, I guess. Ah, and that was Spy Hunter, mate. Oh, there is music. It must have been when I was downstairs making a coffee or something. I only plays it once. Okay, you can. Uh, Plus up on the uh, scores for this game then, because it has got the music. Let's have a quick go uh, tapper while my noodles cool down. F1. There is no F1 key, is there on this thing? I'm sure there isn't. What happened there? 
Ah, uh, one too many, I reckon. basically clear out the drums. Oh man, they all come at the same time. Where's my tips for the dancers? Yeah, the graphics are quite nice actually. I know my noodles. I've got to hear the can can. It's all here, mate. It's all here. We've got the not so sexy dancers going. Ooh. That was a bit iffy, that was. Get out my fucking bar, come on mate. You fucking drunken bastard. What happened there? Not even clearing the level here. So of course all these tape images don't have any kind of trainer options. Will it be as nice as my new doors? Who knows, mate? Hey, enter to start, he said. Hey, where's the music gone? There was music when it was demoing it. Graphically, it will never be as good as uh, uh, the sort of computers that have attribute, colour and blah, blah, blah. So, you know, BBC, Amstrad, and, uh, oh, Atari as well. They'll always suffer for that. Oh, yeah, why isn't there music anymore? I didn't want to do that. I apologize. Whiskey, whiskey. But I suppose it's all about how it plays, really. Most obscure version of this is on the Memotech MTX 
I think it works on the 500, not just the 512. Uh, I don't know if I have a copy of it on tape for the memo tech. But with our trusty cassette adapter, we might be able to play it one down there. Okay. Yeah, that's it. So this bit is okay on the music. I and mean, this music is horrendous on all versions. Dee dee. Dee dee dee. Dee dee. What's the matter, Amiga? Did actually have a copy of Manic Miner for the uh, Amiga, but I won't load, so. Shift to jump, is it the dirt? Is it J sound on off? I think it says something about J sound on off. I don't know why they didn't do the, uh, you know, the nice uh, little house with a, you know, sunset over it kind of thing. Yeah, so um, it's all about how it plays on this, but uh... okay. See if the full tune is on there. Ooh, that was very close. Oh, I didn't quite make that. Well, actually, you've got to do the jump test. Oh, you can do it. All right, so the Amstrad and the C64 have the uh, correct jump controls. I think the ceiling is a bit higher there. I can't really see it from this angle, that's the problem. Stop making excuses, mad Commodore. I must be able to get off level one, but it is slightly different, but that doesn't really matter uh, if you're buying it for like one computer. Yeah, see? Um, ooh. So the time limits are obviously very similar. Just notice they've got blue as a separate colour there down the bottom. So you've got, yeah, so you, you, there must be some sort of raster split down on there somewhere. And it plays absolutely fine. I mean, you can do the usual trick. So that's interesting, the, uh, the Atari 800 pool uh, does the spectrum thing where you can't uh, change direction immediately. You have to go left, up and then right, which makes you look like a knob really. And anyone who disagrees with that is obviously a knob, so there you go. I'm glad you agree with me sir. Most people probably don't, but uh, let's see if the timings work out the same, because this should be the right time to go now. Yeah, according to, uh, yeah. So, there we go. Uh, and... Ooh, that was close, madam. Yeah, it's absolutely fine actually. 
If you knew someone who had uh, made mine on their computer and it wasn't an Amstrad and you liked it and you went and bought it for your Amstrad, that's fine. No problem. No, no problemo. So that's, that's a good thing because Manic Miner is the best uh, non-scrolling platform game on 8-bit machines, consoles or computers. Now I don't really care if you don't agree with that. That's, uh, that's just how it is. So everything's been uh, put in exactly the same. So I see that. Oh, hang on, there's something weird going on here. How'd you get up there then? Ah, oh, crap. Something different going on here. Have I completely forgotten how to do this level? That's possible. No, I'd better do it properly. There's only so many ways you can, uh, times you can try that actually. So the problem is, you have to get to there. Well, that didn't work. How'd you get up there? have to test now how you would get up here. I suppose you have to you must be able to drop from there to there. It must be possible otherwise I can't see how you would do this level. This is interesting. I have to go back and check one of my 10 million Manic Miner videos on the C64. Okay. No, Manic Mine is absolutely fine. So, that's another win for the Amstrad catalog. There it goes, the loading screen for Metro Cross. Uh, looks quite nice, so I thought I'd put that in the video. So, when this hopefully finishes loading, we'll check it out. Metro Cross with one, two, three, four of my cats. Right, apparently his joystick is set up. Yeah, so. See, our teeth glasses are in the other room. Alright, here we go. I press fight a jump. Yeah, music's not bad. Might be the same as the ST music. Yeah, the graphics are nice and colourful. What are those things on the floor? Hey! Ooh, I was supposed to uh, do that one actually. I was going to miss that one. Which 
tây 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 probably doing a double pixel scroll, so four pixels wide, obviously. Whee! Come on, don't be like that. Woo. Obviously, uh, they could have put Pepsi in there, but Shirley said no. And if you don't get that joke, well, what can I say, mate? You're not a kid from the 80s like me. I suppose technically I'm a 70s stroke 80s kid. Oh man. Actually, I haven't played Daily Thompson's Decathlon on there. Ooh, you're doing quite well. Hello, Amiga. If you like these high-pitched noises, she does seem to like this. Oh man, I fucked that up. Oh no, what's going on with him? Alright, you have to leave it until later than you think. Ooh, I've got two there. You can uh, go up and down the screen while you're in the air as well. That's quite important. So if you know where the next ones are going to be. So there's a bit of memory stuff going on as well. Hey! It's one of those levels where if you keep missing these, you're not going to do well. You have to basically get one after the other like this. Not like that though. Time seems quite generous actually. I think I'm doing better than uh, my first go on the C64 version. Just caught that one. Ooh, I missed that one. Right, that's land there. Amika's going in the litter tray. No, please, not now. Emergency litter tray. Ooh. What happened there then? Should still make it though. Walker's crisps were a bit oily, luckily they're nearly finished. There seems to be a bit of parallax going on in the background there. Oh no! Hey! Amiga, that litter tray is meant to be when we're sleeping. Well, when I'm sleeping. Mm. 
Wolf might have to cut this with your emergency litter tray. I need a clothes peg, god damn it. <laughs> Some things never change, mate. Same shit, different computer, literally. Well, that wasn't always uh, Amiga that was making it. What the hell? Yeah, you're not really covering it, are you, by scratching the side of the uh, bowl? That is quite foul. I'm trying to include you in the experience. Ah, come on, man. I oh, wonder those were some sort of speed up. Hey! Come on, off. Now. Nah. God damn it. It's quite a tumble there, sir. And I got electrocuted by running man star. Right, time to hold my nose a bit. Yeah, that's pretty good. I quite like that. Emergency. Doi doi. Joy 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 here we are here we go everything moves nice and fast no slow down lovely ooh Ooh. I think the guys actually move a bit faster on this version. So they didn't even attempt at doing the scrolling, it's proper full on flip screen. Uh, other than that, it's uh, pretty much the same game. Oh, and they kill each other. American friendly fire. Oi! What damn motherfuckers. Close enough, was it? Ooh, that was a bit. Go. Ooh. Ooh. God damn it! I've got enough problems with that bloody uh, plane shooting me. Ooh. <laughs> He's very playable, actually, I have to say. I can't remember if my mate had this on his Amstrad or not, so... Oh no, I'm out of fucking bombs. God damn it. Ooh. I've just got to get this arsehole here. Wait. Stop avoiding your death. There you go. So I've done A level at least on my first go in the Amstrad version. Oh shit. Ooh. I've still got no bombs. Oh crap. I actually do seem to fire faster so I've I, I got to get used to the, uh, you know, the difference in speed. Because the timing is quite important. God damn you. Fucking hell, what's my name? Lightning Jack? I think that's some bombs there. I could do them. Ooh. Yeah, I needed them. Hey, what happened to my bomb? I didn't want to do that. Oh, crap. There you go. Get the fuck out. You get the fuck out, man. It's my Chris Rock impression. Not Chris Rock, what's the other? Chris Tucker, that's it. I can't stand Chris Tucker, just so you know. It's really annoying. Chris Rock's all right, but 
I don't find Chris Tucker funny at all in any of his films or his stand up. He's just annoying. He's got that annoying voice. Bit like me, innit? But I sound more masculine than even. Uh... Yeah, anyway, let's not get into that. I don't want to be accused of being a racist or anything. God damn it. He's actually quite. Ah, oh, there you see, there is a bit of slow down and flicker now. But I think we can forgive that. I mean, on on the whole, on the arsehole. Hey! Fucking hell! Flip me neck, Tucker, what are they doing in it? Oh man! They will just rush me in it. Start doing it. <laughs> get them for a nice safe distance. Ooh, you get a few stragglers in it. Hey, yeah, where they coming from? I think you're getting more bloody soldiers coming out than uh, the C64 version. It's a joke. Your joke, yes, is a joke. Hey, there isn't anyone. Oh, there is one up there. He's trapped. Ah, oh, that's bad coding. How am I supposed to get him then? What are you puke up in here for? Ah, oh, bloody hell. You've done a massive shit. And now you puked up on my brand new cock, you little shit. Bloody cats, they keep eating plastic. Ah, you arsehole. Fuck, what am I going to do now? Little shit. Bollocks. Good damn motherfuckers. Really need this man. Ready all today. Emergency shits. Well, emergency little tray because of the shits. Bollocks! It's a good thing it's bloody flip screen scrolling. Bloody good and all, innit? Alright, let's go and get the old tissue papers. Fuck you. Right. I bet Steve McQueen never had this problem in his uh, war films. Uh, bloody hell, I've got no bombs at all, have I? Oh, gotta watch out for that bastard. Ah! <laughs> well. That was uh, Who Dares Wins, and uh, that's really good. Definitely got to have that. I, I don't know if I've got this for the hamster. Look at that lovely Mode Zero title uh, loading screen for Wet Clemens. I wonder what screen mode they wrote the game in. I wonder. Right, it looks like uh, this isn't a multi load then, because the uh, tape image is nearly fully loaded. Certainly not enough for a multi load. Which is good for me. Possibly for you too. Although I don't know if you two band members ever owned an Amstrad back then. Possibly not. 
Yeah, we nearly there, mate. We're on the, uh, I think we're on the uh, second to last block, and there's no way of knowing how much date was in each block. Here we go, signing. Again, we are telling me I could have keyboard. I don't want keyboard. Right, so uh, it is mode one, obviously. I was joking. I did know that already. Oh, there is uh, a gear chain. So, uh, I think it is faster than Chase HQ on the Amstrad. But the graphics are very spectrum -y, and therefore you should play the Spectrum version because that is even faster than this. The Spectrum version of Wet Le Mans is a phenomenal thing. Hey, no, 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 don't eat the plastic. See, that's why you puke up. She, she chews on the uh, parcel tape on the various boxes. So I'm blaming you, Amy, otherwise I would have been world champion at Le Mans. Uh, but yeah, this is fast enough, and uh, you know, usual rules apply. Your mate's got a Spectrum, you play wet demands on there, you've got an Amstrad, you buy it, would you be unhappy? Nah, not really. You'd be unhappy if you had a C64. Almost as unhappy as if you've got Chase HQ. Which means unhappy enough to slap the shit out of Gary Bracey until uh, fucking he bleeds from every orifice of stupid cunts. There is no way anyone could have looked at uh, Chase HQ or Wet Le Mans on the C64 and said, yeah, let's go, that's as good as it's going to get technically. No way, mate, no, that's just pure greed. Yeah, we're definitely going at full speed. So, yeah, I think they could have picked better colours for the uh, four colours. You know, it's, uh, I don't know. I know what they've done here, they've basically gone with uh, some sort of black, some sort of grey, uh, is that grey? Uh, some sort of green and some sort of blue, so, oh man, I ain't got my, ah oh, come on, I ain't got my CRT glasses on you see, so I can't really notice what gear we're in, that's very indistinct. Now I haven't played Chase HQ yet because it is a multi-load and uh, I'm sort of uh, playing these games in between uh, uh, very short breaks of uh, Game of Thrones. So that handles fine and the update is okay for an 8-bit racing game. You know, it's not like the C64 is going anything better really. Probably about the same as uh, Power Drift and Turbo Charge on the C64. Which obviously look much better than this. But anyway, Turbo Charge never got a conversion uh, on, the, uh, on the CPC. It's a C64 exclusive. Like Risk and Wizardry and I just crashed again. Well, I don't think you'd be unhappy with this, to be honest. But like I said, personally, I prefer the Spectrum version because it is very fast. Wet Le Mans on the Spectrum is actually the best uh, racing game on the Spectrum, bar none. There is no... Chase HQ is good, but it's, no... it's sort of like this frame rate. Anyway, we won't get into that too much. You set Amstrad at the moment, we haven't got any uh, Spectrum set up. There's no more room for any more systems. They seem to have uh, that in a different mode now. Oh! Madam! I'm going to say there's not much uh, longevity in this game now, so uh, let's try something else now. So that's the loading screen. Uh, I do believe that's mode 1. 
Uh, it's all right, but they really should have gone with mode zero. But anyway. Okay. Probably as good as it's going to get. So, let's press space as it is telling me. Uh, two for joystick. So, uh, how do I pick what one I want? Do I press like three or something? Okay, let's just go for a practice. Uh, let's go for the big ramp. The volume up, it is now. Well, the engine sound is all right, actually. Mm. There's something I've done wrong here, or... I don't know how much faster it is than the uh, C64 version, which would probably be the slowest of all the 8 bit. I don't think it's as fast as the uh, BBC Micro version, that's the thing. Ooh, no, 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 don't fall off, mate. Oh, right, okay. We've gone a bit airwolf at the moment. <laughs> it's a classic, man. It's a classic. Okay, that was a bit of a fuck up there. Anyway, we need more that for a second. I, I can't make that fucking jump, can I? That's the whole point. There's no way to make that jump if you're going to put me there. I don't actually like Stunt Car Racer. It's a great idea, but the tracks are shit, if you ask me. See, look, now we're stuck. So what am I supposed to do now? There's no way for me to make that jump, so it's a bit stupid. So I have to wreck the car and try again. Um, so, yeah, once again, 4 MHz Z80, which should be as fast as a 2 MHz 6502. And yet this isn't quite as fast as the BBC Micro version. So, uh, yeah, we'll try a completely different track, I think. I was playing this on the Amiga the other day and I just realised that uh, I don't actually like the tracks. It's a, it's a good idea for a game and they've done, uh, they've done a reasonable job with the conversion. I don't know if, you know, using this uh, Mode Zero slows it down. I don't know if it would have been better in Mode 1 for like this kind of wireframe stuff. Now, it's not like I'm saying the C64 version is brilliant. Uh, it's basically, you're a bit fucked if you had an 8-bit computer and you wanted to play Stunt Car Racer. Bare minimum is uh, ST, I would say. Now.
So, yeah, it's not like um, I'm like against the Amstrad version specifically. I don't think any of the 8 bit versions, apart from possibly the BBC Micro and the homebrew Atari 800 version, are really fast enough if I'm honest. Even the Amiga version is not fast enough, if I'm honest. You need to play it on Amiga 1200. It's just not responsive enough, and that's the problem. But, it's no worse than most of the other 8-bit versions, so... Of course, of course we're going to fall off, of course motherfucking, fuck you, you chicken box prick. Yeah, you don't really want my opinions on stunt car racer, because like I said, I don't even think the Amiga version is fast enough in the frame rate, you really need, you know, Amiga 500 I'm talking. Amiga 1200 came out after this game was released on the Amiga. And the SD version isn't worth the extra 10% in uh, frame rate because uh, you really need the creaking sounds when you're going on the uh, corners. Without those, bloody hell, what's going on with this shit? I wasn't even going that far. So there's a bit of drawing in there, you know. Yeah, it's, it's not really a great experience. So I'd like to say, the Amiga 500 spec is like the absolute bare minimum to play this game. I wouldn't even play it on a DOS PC. Because you need the, uh, you need the sand effects. The gut-wrenching sand effects. Although the crash sounds are pretty good, actually. But on the Amiga, you really feel like you fucked up because they're like, and it really is. Uh, you get, you almost get vertigo. Um, but like I said, it's apart from the BBC Micro version, which is the best 8-bit version. It's not really any worse than the Spectrum or the C64 version. But anyway, that's, uh, that's that one. Boy, that is flickery. I feel sorry for you watching this. So there was no loading screen or anything, so I didn't really miss anything on this one. So this is uh, Z or Z for the Americans by Rhino Soft. And we have got the uh, volume up, so uh, this is one of those Amstrad games few people know about. Can I change the level that I start at? And if I can do that, I'm going to do the uh, nice level. Uh, no, no, we've got to go through them all now. It's not actually saying like different levels from what I can see. Well, that would be a tough level to do. We'll try level two because it's quite nice. Oh, right, okay. So look how fast it is. So basically it's Time Pilot 84 knockoff, C64 version by uh, Chris Butler. Uh, you've got to shoot loads of things and then you get to uh, pick up like a bomb and then you can throw the bomb or well, fire the bomb at these things and then once you get in there, so it ended, uh, I think that was a bomb actually. I think that's a bomb. No, I don't think he's actually. Uh, you might have to right okay I think you have to press uh, space it's space on the seat yeah there you go and then you, you've got to try and get in through the gap so 
Sometimes you can just about do it on the C64 version, but you can't do it on this. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, the thing about this game is it's it's a nice scrolling abstract CPC and colourful mode zero uh, time pilot 84, and that is rare. That is very rare. rare. I think we, uh, alright, okay, that's what that means. So there you go, that's, that's the bomb. And so you've got to shoot the shield around it and then pick it up. I think we've got it. I'm sure we picked it up. You asshole. You've got to get at least, like, two things, I think. Hmm. So you get the idea. I'm not really here to show you all the levels or anything. The graphics are really nice on all the levels, but uh, the thing is, it's rare to find games like this from like, you know, the early period of the CPC. Here we go, we've got one there. But uh, yeah, I mean, look at the speed of the thing. And there's no slowdown. So whoever programmed this is a very talented Amstrad uh, coder. I don't think we've got it now. We'll try and get one more and then... Oh, actually, I think he's saying we've got one. Hey, what happened there? No, that's bullshit. Hey, I didn't like that, but um, by Steve Evans. There you go, Steve Evans. He's a very good programmer in it. So, yeah, I mean, these sort of games were important when the CPC came out. You know, you need a good Donkey Kong, you need a good Time Pilot, which I don't think exists, but there is Time Pilot 84, so you got that. Um, yeah, this is one of those games that, like, you rarely see on the uh, Patreon prick channels, even the uh, dedicated Amstrad channels, and yet, yeah, here we have a game that's almost identical to the C64 version. I don't think there was any memorable music on the C64 version. It's pretty much the same game. Your, your mate got Z. For his C64, you played it for, oh that's nice, go and buy it for your Amstrad, you're going to be happy. And that's all that these videos are about really, me going through the Amstrad catalogue and a bit of role reversal. If I was the one who uh, had to buy a CPC because there was no C64s in stock after Rumblows gave me one with a fag burn and specifically the bloke who worked in there looked like Mel Smith from Smith & Joe, blah blah blah, you get the idea. This is England. Anyway, you get the idea of fucking noisy cocksuckers out. Right, what are the keys for this? This being Donkey Kong on the Amstrad. Now, some people say, ooh, the Amstrad version is the best. Better than the C64. Because it's more colourful. Don't listen to them chicken box pricks. Because they just don't know how to turn the uh, colour dial up on their fucking TV. It's exactly the same game. But, at the end of the day, if you haven't got a C64, or vice versa, if you haven't got an Amstrad, it's the same game. Oh, and they forget to mention you have to listen to the sound from the uh, shit one inch speaker built into the Amstrad. So, you know, it goes both ways. It's basically exactly the same game on both. There's very little difference. But, the important thing is, the Amstrad CPC has a brilliant version of Donkey Kong. Ooh. 
Ah, see, it's the zipstick messing me up now. It's exactly the same thing was happening with uh, Killer Gorilla. Ah, see, now this time it comes down the ladder. If anything, it proves Killer Gorilla is, uh, well, they did their research, let's put it that way to make their illegal game. Right, see now, they're not coming down that way. Yeah, this uh, zipstick is not really helping my chances at all. Ah, see? So yeah, for 10 quid in 1986, let's not forget that, you could play a really decent version of Donkey Kong. But like most magazines said back then, uh, you know, 1986, Donkey Kong, I mean I didn't buy Donkey Kong by Ocean for my C64 and I love playing Donkey Kong in the arcade, so, you know. I didn't actually want to go up that ladder. Oh, God damn it with a stupid joystick. Hold on a second. Bastard thing. Gonna have to like do diagonal down as we're going like left and right. Ah, you can't win. It is as difficult as the arcade. Now the important thing is, this has all four levels, which the NES version doesn't have. So that was the thing. Now the Spectrum and the MSX version is shit, so that's that one out of the way now. I didn't want to go up there. Ah, fucking, I hate this joystick, mate. Well, this turned into a shit review. Although these ain't technically reviews, I'm just literally checking the games out. But it plays exactly the same. And if I had the other zipstick, I wouldn't keep accidentally going up the ladders. I don't want to go up on. Yeah, don't eat plastic, Amy. Please. Please! So, yeah, that was really the thing. Uh, taking things in, uh, you know, context. So when I do want it to go up the bloody ladder, it won't fucking thing. Right, that's when I did want to go up the ladder. Now famously I like level 3 the most. It doesn't do the idiotic thing where, uh, you know. Actually I didn't want to go this way. That is. See, I, it keeps going up the uh, ladders, and I don't want it to go up the ladders. And now I do. Right, okay, we can wait here. We should be able to do it now. Come on, let me up there. Bonus doesn't seem to be going. Yeah, the bonus goes down very slowly, so I don't know how accurate that is. But yeah, whether I've got the C64 set up or the Amstrad set up, don't really matter. I've, I can play Donkey Kong, all four levels, and that's the important thing really. Nothing else really matters. Yeah, let's be careful not to uh, fuck this one up. What's the matter, buddy? You've got better eyesight than me in the dark. See, I'm, I'm not even going to get that far this time, I reckon. Ah, see, he's coming down there, so... we we'll have to go down the ladder here. So it plays perfectly, that's the thing, the sounds are absolutely fine. 
Uh, the sounds are better on the C64 version because they come out of a TV, like I said, that's the only real difference. So you have to do exactly the same way as the arcade basically. Ah! It is actually like the arcade, set on uh, you know the difficult levels. Because the timing is very tight, it's like millisecond timing there. Yeah. So he's gonna Just about made that one. So yeah, if you're good at the arcade version, then you'd be good at this version, really. I don't know if you get away with that. See what I mean? It's really the timing is really critical just like the arcade so ocean did a really good job on the c64 and the amstrad version it's better than the coleco vision version but then like i said because of the uh you know the year we're talking about here oh that's a bit iffy see this joystick is really fucking me up And uh, the fact I ain't got the bloody CRT glasses is not helping at all. Ooh, there we go, good, good. So now we're a bit fucked actually, because uh, he's coming up here, he's coming up there. Ooh, 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 ooh. I could get the hammer there. Oh man! He's just a few pixels away from the hammer. So yeah, I used to love Donkey Kong in the arcade. I quite liked it on the Coleco, even though there was, you know, a stage missing in the Pie Factory. Um, and uh, that's really the thing here. It, it is a proper conversion here. So, ooh, you stay there, buddy. So they can't come there. Well, they can go there. I've done it again. I'm just missing that hammer by a few pixels. But you got to see all the levels and uh, that's really the, uh, the business. So that is a business. If you like Donkey Kong and uh, you had an Amstrad back then. Let's say you got a computer in, uh, oh I don't know, Christmas 1985. And you remember playing Donkey Kong in the arcade. You might have bought it. Uh, like I said, I had a C64 and I never bought this for my C64, even though it's just as good. And that's that's the weird thing. I, I couldn't actually tell you why, except... Well, I can tell you why. In 1986, I was playing Nemesis and Salamander in the arcade all summer, so there's that. And, um, you know, we, we're moving to, like, 16-bit games and... I really wanted to see those kind of games on the C64, I can't remember. Yeah, I was playing Ghosts and Goblins on the C64 in 1986. Or is it Commando? I can't remember, or both. So, you know, it's, just, it's a different thing. These are like, nah. They're like, I would call them second generation arcade games after things like, uh, you know, Space Invaders and uh, Tail Gunner and all that. But... Yeah, the point is, it is actually uh, a really good game. So, we've got Rampage game, and uh, I don't know why the other characters are playing. Hey, who are you attacking me for, you bastard? So, apparently, uh, if you want to use a joystick, you can only be the uh, Wolfman, Ralph, I believe. Ralph the Wolfman. We'll call you Jack. Uh, Jack Nick, actually. 
wolf wasn't uh, me in the scheme of that. So yeah, it's got, uh, it's got nice mobile graphics. Snack time in it. So yeah, actually, um, on paper this should actually be a, a good game for the uh, Amstrad because there's no scrolling, which is usually what saps most of the uh, CPU time. I don't know how you jump off, don't ask me why. I uh, don't usually have that kind of problem. So the computer controls the other two characters all the time. I can't remember if that's right actually, it's been a long time. Since I played Rampage, I did have Rampage on the C64. I can't remember if the American or the British version on the C64 is better. But yeah, this is nice actually. I can't remember how you jump off. Okay, we'll start at the top and work our way down. So I can't go down unless he jumps off. Yeah, I can't jump off. Where well, get off, little dick. So now the uh, eight, eight must be uh, player two with the upper joystick or keyboard. Oh, it's the cursor keys that control the other <coughs> character with a keyboard. It's a bit weird how they do that. Wee! So yeah, the graphics are really nice actually. This is what I'm talking about. I mean, there's certain types of games that are just going to be better on the Amstrad because it has uh, a completely unrestricted uh, 16 color graphics mode. Now C64 can certainly get 16 colors on the scan line. Yeah, see I, I don't know how you jump off. I don't know how to... And this is just one of those uh, situations. If the game's been done properly, which it has, which for an arcade game like this means, uh, you know, it has to be mode one. Why can't I jump off? Do I have to press the key on the keyboard? I don't want to start a game with the, uh, you know. We. Hey, what happened to me? All right. Oh no, I'm buggered as well. Yeah, that's uh, that's really nice. That'd be a lot of fun. Two players. I presume to have a two-player game. I don't remember how the the second joystick business works. <coughs> Actually, if I'm honest, was there an adapter you buy, or you had to buy a specific joystick that had the second uh, joystick port? I can't remember. I really can't. And it's not something I've actually googled. But yeah, that was uh, <coughs> that was Rampage, and uh, it's been converted properly. And uh, yeah, very nice. Well, fantastic loading screen. That's really nice, actually. Certainly, uh, I don't expect the C64 game, which was uh, done by some real slapdash losers, to have a title screen like this but uh, anyway let's wait for the game to load which is a multi-load 
So yeah, see I haven't moved the camera and uh, they've managed to shrink the border so it is exactly like the uh, VIC-20 where you can define the size of the border and therefore the uh, area of the screen. <coughs> That's not something you can do on a lot of computers actually. That is quite unique for the VIC-20 and the CPC palette is exactly the same as the VIC-20 except it's got 50% more colours. I think that's right. Uh, hang on a minute, there's 16 colours. Uh, yeah, hang on, if you add 8 to 6, actually, it's maybe a bit more, but it's that sort of thing. Because it's an RGB palette on the, uh, the CPC. But because of... Uh, CDT to WAV, you can't actually select which part of the uh, tap you want to play. On this version I'm using, which is the only version I can get with the old version of uh, uh, oh, Java runtime environment. So uh, anyway, my mate loved Renegade in the arcades. I'd have to pull him off the fucking thing so he could uh, go somewhere else afterwards because I really didn't like uh, scrolling beat em ups it wasn't really my thing scrolling beat em ups I have to say I've never been uh, gaga over them until until Golden Axe which we will be playing another multi load game which is a bit of a pain in the arse with this stuff stop running away from me little shit Oh, I feel it. Oh, great. Oh, yeah, because you get on the train on the next bit, didn't you? You have to press the space bar or something? Why is it not doing nothing? Sure he's actually punching or anything. It's a bit weird. I don't know what's going on here. <coughs> Didn't say like keyboard or joystick goes on. Ah, bloody cat's playing on the uh, laptop keyboard. They do that sticky key shit and then it won't work. I have to reboot the password. That's a bit fucked up. I can't punch anyone. How'd you fucking punch? No, he's not punching at all. It's their arms that are moving. Why am I not punching? Is there a lot of key you have to press to play? That would be really dumb. Here. Right, so I'm pressing a small entity it does do a kick. What's that blue stuff coming out there? It should be red. Do not ask me to rewind the tape. Good, good. So there, there's no options for like setting up the keyboard, but obviously pressing the little enter key does something. So why doesn't pressing fire on the bloody joystick do anything? Don't start the game either. Uh, let's make sure the uh, joystick's plugged in, you know, no problem there. Let's see if we can find another key that starts the game. Space does something. Okay, it's going to be a bit shit having to play it like this. So, why doesn't the uh, fire button do anything? Well, 
How did you turn around? I'm sure I've got him to turn around before. Come on, mate. I'm not doing well here. <coughs> I don't know what's going on with the control. It looks like he's dancing. Yeah. <coughs> so he's holding me, but I don't know how you get rid of him. This, this isn't going well because the controls are a bit fucked up. Fire button don't do anything. Is he actually. No, that's just his walk animation. Yeah, they're not dumb enough to walk off the uh, edge of the field. Oh, yeah. Why is he not punching properly? So the zero key does the punches. Have I got this set up now for uh, keyboard or something? Stay here, I guess. Yeah, there's definitely something weird going on here. That's a shame. <coughs> I suppose I could go on the uh, CPC power on the laptop and see if I can get the instructions. Once more Alpina. Hey. Oh no! Oh, he's, he's a boss. Oh right, ah oh, crap. So I'm going to have to play this on keyboard. There must be a way to start the game on Joyce. Let's, uh, let's fire up the old... Uh, uh, which uh, browser should we use the best one for XP? For a bit, uh, CPC. Oh, right, there we go. Right, the zero, uh, the O key doesn't work. Uh, Renegade. Right, that's slow. Although no, that's because the uh, router is uh, miles away. Like it'll 10 million copies of the. Uh oh, I just want fucking normal renegade, mate. Here we go. Right. Let's uh, have a look. Let's uh, check out the manual. Which one's got the manuals in it? Yeah, I won't be able to read that one. Controls, right. There we go. Uh, ah, look, there you go. NB, fire button not used. Well, no one tells me that. So... <coughs> And it says uh, up, down, uh, left, right. It's got those. Right, the, uh, these are the uh, three attack keys. I think they're all in. Uh, <coughs> Oh, 
on the 6128 they're different Take during play the course of the game. Okay, so I haven't done anything wrong and it hasn't failed to load it. It's actually that dumb. So because some arsehole couldn't work out that uh, what you're supposed to do is use one of the fucking fire buttons and uh, maybe use a space or something for the other one so that's uh, that game is fucked that's really only for emulation today so we have to find something else now and I don't want any more fucking multi load so uh, let's try rolling thunder so that's uh, that's absolutely fucked. That is unplayable. Why should I have to press two keys on the keyboard while using the joystick? Why don't you just fucking uh, put on the title screen? We are pricks. We ain't got a fucking clue what we're doing. So there's no point fucking playing uh, our shit game. And it's, it's a shame because well the music is fine I'm sure the arcade music was shit anyway uh, the graphics are nice the speed is absolutely fine 90% of the time the collision detection is fine and then some knob comes along like, uh, uh, let's use the two keys on your numeric keypad for two punch button you got a fucking fire button here mate yeah look fucking wank that sort of shit really winds me up because now it's not worth playing it at all and uh, as far as I'm concerned the Amstrad version is the only version of Renegade worth fucking playing I don't like the graphics on the Spectrum version I don't care what you say the Spectrum was 125 quid for a good reason mate because it didn't have any decent graphics yes some people work minor miracles with 
what they had and I respect those uh, programmers and artists but uh, whoever designed the Spectrum you know you only put those features in and they're not enough they're not enough to do things like Renegade they're fine for doing uh, things like Space Invaders and uh, beyond that it starts getting a bit iffy oh this isn't a multi load so that's good I don't usually leave the camera on while things are loading, but this looks like quite a short game to load. However, I don't know, there's no way of knowing how long uh, block 5 and block 6 is going to take to load. So block 5 is probably just the loading screen, which is actually quite nice, I quite like it. Yeah, that's disappointing, see? Everyone know uh, Rear Renegade's brilliant, Renegade's great on the Amstrad, shit on your C64. Well, until you actually want to play the game. <clears throat> Who fucking plays uh, scrolling beat em ups using a keyboard, mate? Fucking uh, nobody, mate. No one. It's like Jude Law. No man likes Jude Law. You just pretend to like that prick, so the girls will fucking talk to you, mate. Funny thing is, I do like the film Existence, and he is like one of the two major characters in it. But uh, I guess I just put up with him in it because it's a good film for me. Same with the beach. A fucking DiCaprio prick. If they had someone else in it, it would have been a much better film. But uh, the beach is a good film if you have a projector. If you don't have a projector, then well, don't be fucking hell. How many blocks we got to load? Got damn coffee time, I think. So here we go. Press fire to start. See, they're using the fire five. The uh, programmers of uh, Renegade should take note. So, area one. Oh, the music's different to EST. So the graphics look nice. The scrolling is a bit jerk off. I can't remember how you jump up to the uh, other level. Bloody hell, I'm not doing well with this. Oh, fucking hell. Give me a chance, innit, man? There you go. So where's the rest of the music then? You just go do 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 constantly. What a bastard. At last. I don't know why the music is not the same as the uh, ST version. Same waveforms on the sound chip. There you go. Avoid the bastards. So even if they touch you, die straight away. This is uh, not going well. This is not a good game on the C64, if I'm honest. It's actually hard to uh, avoid their bullets because you only get like three frames to actually do it. Ah, right, okay. Alright, I can survive an explosion but not touching their... Uh... Ah, come on! And maybe like that in the arcade, that's fair enough. But uh, the arcade runs at 50 frames per second, so. So they punch you and you die straight. Who the hell are these people? Club of Lang! There you go. I'm losing way too many lives for bullets to be an issue, really. Oh, 
great, I can't get them from there. You barely get to hear the music. I do actually like the ST music. Don't you? Ah, come on! I'm doing. I don't really like this guy. Ah, he doesn't always uh, jump straight up when I do it either. That's the other thing. That's the thing with this game. You, you can't just go mental and just pile straight through. And the obstacles are annoying, actually. Oh no, come on. That, that seemed to fuck up there, it's like speed up. That's a shame because the graphics are really nice. Uh, the frame rate does affect playability. Uh, that's a real shame, that is. You never get a game this colourful on the uh, C64. There's too many colours on that one like thing. I mean, count them. You've got two colours on the boots, two colours on the trousers, two colours on the, you know, the shirt, two colours on the fucking. Uh, well, I don't know what that is. Fucking pillowcase. So they got like eight colours on just one guy. You cannot do that on the C64. You'd have to use about three sprites to do that, and you can't have more than like eight on a scan line anyway. So, well, that was that then. <laughs>